I wanted to walk you through how you could use Silhouette Studio for sublimation. And even if you don't have a Silhouette cutting machine, you could still download Silhouette Studio. I went to silhouetteamerica.com and then under desktop software, you could either select if you have a Mac or Windows. I have a Mac, so I already went ahead and installed the Studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up now. So over here on the right, underneath uh, machine, I selected none. And for cutting mat, I selected none. So for media size, my paper is eight and a half by 11. You could also put in a custom size. So next, if you go over here to the file folder, you go ahead and upload one of your images. Now this is a PNG of a mermaid that I got for free on design bundles. Just go ahead and select this so I could resize it. So I'm just gonna make it four by four. Okay, now let's talk about printing. If you go up here to file print, and then select print again, you wanna make sure that you have your printer selected. Now I already have my presets saved, but I wanna show you how I went ahead and did that. Now here where it says layout, if you go to color matching, I selected the Epson LJ Printer 07. If you do have a color profile, you can go to other profiles and go ahead and search for that there. Next, if you go to print settings, you could select your media type. So premium presentation, paper matte, or plain paper and I have the quality as high, I would go ahead and test with both and see which gives you better results depending on the paper you're using. And then don't forget to select mirror image. So after you get all that set in, you wanna go ahead and select save current settings as preset. That way every time you go to print, it will already be saved for you. So then you would just go ahead and print your image. Just finished printing, so I wanted to show you how that automatically mirrors the image for you. So don't forget to save that as your preset, so each time it will mirror the image. So now it's all ready to be cut out and pressed. I went ahead and I pressed the same image four times onto some satin fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby. This is 100% polyester fabric. So this first mermaid here, now, I printed this one before I changed any of the color profiles. This was just the Epson Control color. And this mermaid, this is after I went to the color matching and set my profile under the Epson Printer 07. And I printed this on the premium matte paper setting. And then this mermaid was done with the same color profile, but I selected plain paper with the quality setting. And the last one here, this mermaid I printed with the color profile that I installed that I got from the ink company. They emailed it to me. So that's how that one looks. So just testing on some polyester fabric, that's a good way to get your colors and your paper settings narrowed down because polyester blanks could um, really add up. So this is just a cheap alternative. Um, just know that when you're pressing on the polyester, blanks that the time and temperature um, could be different than just pressing on this fabric. So um, all that goes into play as well.